The U.S. now believes that North Korea may have tried to test a hydrogen bomb earlier this month. I want to get straight to CNN's Barbara Starr. She broke the story. She's live at the Pentagon. Barbara, initially U.S. officials had doubted that claim of North Korea. What are they learning now? Jim, a story you and I have been following closely since January 6, when the North Koreans conducted some type of test underground. At the time, January 6, the U.S. dismissed the notion it was a hydrogen bomb, as the North Koreans claimed. But since then, sampling of the air in that region by U.S. spy aircraft has proved inconclusive. That has led them, we are told, by U.S. officials to go back and look at the seismic data, the disturbance in the Earth when this explosion happened. They now are looking at the notion it was very deep underground, two times more than they expected. That is consistent with some kind of hydrogen device. But the key here is, while the North Koreans claim it was a hydrogen bomb, the U.S. isn't so sure. They believe it is possible the North Koreans tested some kind of components related to a hydrogen bomb, not a full-on device. Nonetheless, extremely concerning because this does put North Korea on a path that is a real leap ahead in their weapons of mass destruction. Jim? Hydrogen bombs tens, possibly hundreds of times stronger than atomic bombs.